Oh look, another Black Canyon. Only this one is pretty special. It's called the Ultimate CF Evo Disc 10.0 Limited, or in other words, possibly the lightest production disc brake road bike you can currently buy. Also got a pretty special price tag as well, £9,099. But look at it, it's very light. I'll hold it up by one finger, but let's put it on the scales and see what it actually weighs. Wow, look at that, just over six kilograms. For a carbon road bike with hydraulic disc brakes, that is incredible. Eat that UCI, that makes a mockery of their 6.8 kilogram weight limit. And it's easily the lightest disc brake road bike we've ever had here at Row CC. Now the lightest bike I've ever ridden in the past was actually a six kilogram road bike, but with rim brakes and very lightweight special components that cost an absolute fortune. So to get a road bike with hydraulic disc brakes and apart from a saddle and seat post, largely regular components, it's just phenomenal and shows how much road bikes have progressed. So how has Canyon achieved this incredible low weight? It's down to two things. So the frame, the fork and the handlebar, and then all the components built onto this top end bike. But let's start with the frame and the fork. And as you can probably tell, it looks very similar to the current Ultimate. It shares all the same tube profiles, the slightly aero down tube, the internal seat clamp, the disc brakes with space for up to 30 mil tires. But as you can see, it looks a bit different. So on the outside of the frame, they pair back the weight and the decals to save precious grams. They use a very thin coat of matte black paint, and then they get rid of all the usual decals that you get on a down tube, and use these tiny little logos on the top of the down tube and the top tube as well, in a nice bling gold. So very understated, very stealth, but if I'm honest with you, I'm a little bit bored of this murdered out black look, stealth look, whatever you want to call it. And if you're spending this sort of money on a bike, it'd be nice to have a choice of colors, a bright orange maybe, a nice shade of blue, red perhaps. I know it's all about saving weight, but I personally prefer to have a bit of color, let people know I spent nine grand on a bike and one of the world's lightest production disc brake road bikes. And then underneath the paint is where the magic really happens. Canyon has used a very high grade, ultra high modulus carbon fiber in the construction of the frame, the fork and the handlebar. It's also examined the layup of the carbon, how the carbon is laid up in the mold to really shave as much weight as possible. And a result of all this, is a size medium frame weighing a claimed 641 grams. That's about 120 grams lighter than the regular Ultimate, so quite a decent weight saving. The fork is lighter too, a claimed 285 grams. And they've even used the same carbon in the handlebar, a one piece aero handbar and stem, like the regular Ultimate, but that one weighs 270 grams. So a lighter frame, fork and handlebar. As well as sweating the details in the construction of the frame and the fork and the handlebar, Canyon has given this bike a top end build to befit a bike of this stature. And we have SRAM's brand new red ETAP access group set with wireless shifting and hydraulic disc brakes. It's a 12 speed group set with smaller chain rings and a new cassette that starts with a 10 to sprocket. And the idea is to give you a bigger range with smaller steps between the gear ratios. It weighs about 2.5 kilograms on the scales. Not the lightest in the world. An old red 11 speed mechanical rim brake group set would be lighter, but then you do have hydraulic disc brakes for maximum stopping power. And you got the sleek shifting performance of the wireless group set there. So uh, plenty of performance as befits a bike like this. And then you've got some really fancy wheels. These are brand new DT Swiss 25th anniversary wheels a shallow section carbon fiber rim, but the best detail are the stamped logos on the rim. I really like that. I don't think I've seen that anywhere before, and that's a really cool detail. You've got high quality spokes and bearings inside the hubs and a brand new free hub at the back as well. And a claimed 1300 gram weight for this wheel set as well. So one of the lightest wheel sets you can buy. It's clincher and they're tubeless ready as well. I just bet you'd love to hear the sound of the free hub on the brand new DT Swiss wheels, wouldn't you? Okay, let me give you a whirl. Oh, that sounds high quality, that does. A high frequency buzz. Those bearings are smooth, they run forever. Very nice. And helping to trim a bit more weight are the Continental Grand Prix TT 
time trial tyres. They are 25 millimeters wide and they weigh about 190 grams each. So lighter than a regular tyre. They are a very fast rolling tyre, pretty good grip as well. And they've got a punch of protection, so fairly durable. But personally, I swap them for a GP5000 for better all round durability and traction in all weathers. And with space for up to a 30 mil tyre in a frame of fork, you could easily go to a 28 or even a 30 if you want a bit more comfort with your lightweight frame set. And then we have this saddle, or is it a saddle or a torture device? It's probably the best expression of weight saving on this new Canyon Ultimate CF Evo. It's a 61 gram saddle from Salitalia and it's full carbon fiber. The shell and the rails are made from carbon. There's no padding on it at all. And you've got this massive channel down the middle, which both helps to save a lot of weight and give a bit of um, pressure relief for your squidgy undercarriage. It's quite a nice shape actually, and it's not as uncomfortable as it looks. There's no padding and it is quite firm. I know what you're thinking, it looks extremely uncomfortable, but surprisingly, it's not that bad. The shape is quite good, a bit of flex in the saddle, and got this big central channel. And for about a two hour ride, it's okay, you know, it's not so bad, but it's very hard. You can feel the, the shell the whole time. And over three, four hours, I found it a little bit hard wearing really. And personally, if I buy this bike, I swap out this saddle and take the weight penalty and fit a more comfortable saddle with a bit of padding. So that is one extreme measure. The other extreme weight saving measure on this bike is the carbon seat post. Now, unless you're a weight weenie, you might not have heard of this brand before. It's Schmolke, and they are a small German company specializing in the lightest weight bicycle components you can buy. Been around for many years, and this is their top end carbon seat post. It weighs just 120 grams, so quite a bit lighter than a standard seat post. Full carbon fiber construction, even the cradle that the saddle sits in is made from carbon with titanium bolts. So very lightweight. You could easily swap it for a regular seat post or Canyon's own VC LS seat post because it's the same diameter as well. So if you want a bit more comfort, you could change it. So this seat post, but mainly the saddle, is perhaps the biggest expression of that extreme focus on low weight on this new Canyon Ultimate CF Evo. And perhaps the only compromise in the package that otherwise looks fairly normal in a, today's market where bikes are getting lighter and lighter. And you don't have to search at the corners of the internet for small brands like Schmolke to find super one-off components that are gonna save you grams over off the shelf aftermarket components. But you could easily swap a saddle and you'd have a very practical, uh, still lightweight bike. So, so that's a quick run through of all the key details and weight saving measures on this brand new Canyon Ultimate CF Evo disc. But how's it ride? Well, we don't have the time or budget to fly to France and ride out to us, I'm afraid. But here in the Cotswolds, my local manor, we do have lots of very steep climbs, and even my own mini out to us. So I'm gonna take it for a spin and see how it performs and see if it gives me wings on the climbs. The low weight may be jaw dropping on paper, but on the road, it's breathtaking. You notice a lack of weight straight away. From the first pedal stroke, to the first corner, to the first climb. It's an ever present sensation throughout the ride. Of course, weight is everything on the climbs. And this is easily the fastest disc brake road bike I've ever had the pleasure to ride my local hills. But it's also the stiffness and the power when sprinting up climbs that really wins you over. And mark my words, you'll be sprinting up every single climb on this bike. The stiffness comes from the ultra high modular carbon fiber and does lead to a firm ride. There's no magic carpet, but thankfully it's not crashy and horrible on rough roads. And neither does it feel fragile. In fact, it feels quite solid and dependable. Heck, you can run this as a daily bike with few concerns at all. With shared geometry, the handling is similar to the regular Ultimate, but it's a bit more pointy with quicker steering. You certainly have to be awake riding this bike, otherwise it might just catch you out. And when it comes to going downhill, boy is it a fast bike. The SRAM hydraulic disc brakes and race tune geometry ensure it's as fast going downhill as it is going up the hills. But if you want to hammer up hills and mountains and can afford it, this is a devastatingly quick climbing bike. 
So my final verdict on the brand new Canyon Ultimate CF Evo disc is that if you live for climbing, you love mountains, and that going up the steepest gradients you can find in your local neighborhood is your main reason for cycling, then this is surely the bike for you. Just over six kilos with all the benefits and reassurance of hydraulic disc brakes and smooth wireless shifting from SRAM's latest red ETAP access group set, with very few compromises really other than that saddle, which is something I would definitely change, means it's a bike that devours climbs and will definitely help you get some new KOMs. But you can also use it every day. It's not a Sunday best bike. It's dependable, durable, got good comfort, great handling, and it's fast. You can ride it every day and not have to say it for Sunday best or when you're going to the mountains in the French Alps. But that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, hit that like button below the video and maybe subscribe to our channel as well if you haven't already. And with all that said, I will see you all again next time. But I'm off for one last ride before it goes back to Canyon. All right, let's go.